the hardest question I could find for indices laws. Now this one looks horrendous, but I'm going to show you a couple tricks to make it seem like one of the easiest questions in any paper. When we have indices laws like this, you need to find the base, so what number can they all go into so that they are all powers of that number. Now looking at 9, 27 and 3, that base number is just going to be 3 here. So what we're going to want to do is rewrite each of those numbers as a power of 3. So I'm going to write 9 as 3 squared, keeping it in the brackets and then to the power of minus a half, is equal to 3 cubed to the power of a quarter, divided by 3 to the x plus 1. Now the benefit of doing this is we can now write them all as single powers of 3. We know that one of the indices laws is that you times the powers when you have that bracket. So 2 multiplied by minus a half is going to be 3 to the minus 1. 3 to the 3 to the power of a quarter, we multiply the 3 and the quarter to make it 3 to the 3 quarters. And then we divide that by 3 to the x plus 1. So now we can basically just ignore the 3 on each of them. So if we just look at the powers, we know that minus 1 should equal 3 quarters take away x plus 1. Now keep that inside the bracket for now, because with the negative on the outside, it's actually going to make it minus x and minus 1. What I mean by this is minus 1 equals 3 quarters. It's almost like expanding a bracket. We have minus x, minus 1, like this. Now from here, just to tidy it up a bit, we're going to have minus 1 equals minus a quarter, because we're doing 3 quarters take away 1, minus x. So we can multiply all of that by a minus 1, which will leave us with... 1 equals a quarter plus x, and then if we take away the quarter onto the other side, you can see that x is equal to 3 quarters, or 0 0.75 if you prefer it as a decimal. And that is our final answer. Thank you very much for watching, I hope this helped, and good luck in your exams.